Hi friends, this is another Nirvo photo manipulation tutorial. I have used five stocks here. This one. So these are the five stocks that I have used in this tutorial. So let's start. First, I will create a new document with eight inch. Sorry, with uh, five inch height, eight inches resolution. Keep it uh, three hundred to three hundred. And uh, let's write your name. Narayani River Photo Manipulation. Okay. <coughs> so this is the document that we are working. So let's import these pictures into Photoshop. Let's drag it and move it to the document. So notice that here is move written. Otherwise, if you keep it here, so they will be created like an object. Um, so that's not better for this. So let's move it, and these files will be moved. <coughs> okay. Let's see. This is not only really for the manipulation. First, drag this layer, use move tool, drag this layer to this one. Okay, so we get like this. So, control T, press control T to get transformation from this layer and make sure that this layer one is selected. Okay, now increase while well, increasing the size or decreasing the size uh, concerned be concerned that you press shift key for um, maintaining the size or ratio of the sides okay that's good mm. okay I just did like this so this now we don't need the next is this document so just drag it drag this layer click and drag it to this document okay now arrange this one like this so let me zoom okay arrange it like this I can increase the size and adjust it. Go. Okay. Now click on mask tool. Click here. Use a gradient tool and choose this one. apply the gradient here so make sure you this linear gradient is selected okay so you can arrange it okay fine <coughs> now next thing is that is needed is this narrowing full so just use move tool to track this layer into this document so its resolution is very high so we get this big picture let's decrease using transformation tool press ctrl T to get this transformation layer okay press enter to apply the transformation and now this decrease its opacity sometimes so that it will be easy for you to go to keep this okay this is good now you can increase the opacity to 100 percent and we need to apply here open layer mask again use gradient tool make sure your foreground color is black and background color is uh, white and you choose this one and linear gradient so click here and apply gradient like this and uh, it's better if you press shift key uh, while applying the gradient 
press shift key okay control alt z to undo the gradient now above also control alt z okay now we need to apply here image adjustment so click here in this image and image adjustment view and saturation colorize it and use this color this kind of color okay saturation uh, adjusted bit lightness increase a bit okay fine so we get like this fine the next thing that we need is this storm and so we are applying this storm as a sky just click drag and drop it over here press ctrl T to get transformation layer and arrange it like this okay press enter now here also we need to apply layer mask use gradient tool and um, select this one control alt z okay control so here also we need to choose this image image adjustment hue and saturation colorize so okay mm. okay the next thing that we need is this is stock so use move tool click drag and drop it over here so just decrease this opacity for some time and it will be easy for you to adjust where to keep it okay now decrease the size a bit mm. now increase this opacity to 100 percent okay now use linear gradient apply layer mask here click here and so choose this one erase all this and use brush tool increase the size of brush okay and decrease the flow and opacity both first increases opacity and now decrease the flow increase you can increase the size of this process using uh, square bracket close close the square bracket it's fine so this can be the final result of our tutorial what's <coughs> up so this is the final result for our tutorial thank you hope mm, this will be helpful for you <coughs>